Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install the Lux menus. So, to install the plugin, head over to the plugin section over here, and go to the spigot tab and type in the Lux menus. All in one word. Is this one over here? Click the install latest button, and you'll also need a another plugin called Placeholder API. Again, it's this one here with the picture that's like this. I already got them installed, so I'm not going to install them. Make sure to restart your server before you do any more changes. Head over to the file section over here and go to plugins and then the locks menus and open the config so we can configure the plugin. In here you'll be able to change all of the options and it's commented very well. It's got everything explained, so make sure to read that. And if you scroll all the way down here, you'll be able to change all the uh, options that you'll need. If we go into game and type in slash dm open example, it will open up a menu that is already preset, which is an example menu, as you can see here. They don't really do much because we don't have any of the other plugins like the teleport plugin or like a home plugin. It won't actually do anything when I click them. So if you want to do a specific command, make sure to install a plugin for that. If we look at the config here on the left, you'll see that this section is the actual menu. So for example, if you want to create another menu, you'll have to copy this whole section and then at the bottom here, just paste it and you'll change some of the parameters. For example, the, the name of the menu, we can change that to let's say tutorial. Then the open command can be something else like uh, Server Pro and the slots, they go up by 9. We'll do 18 just for this example. And if you want to have requirements, so permissions, you can set that too. Make sure to set the permission uh, type as has permission, just like explained over here uh, near the top. You can also do things like uh, has money or has an item. So for example, if a player has a specific item, they can open that menu. These numbers here are the ID number. So make sure it starts with one, two, and three, and so on. You can change the material. So this is a player head. Uh, this is gonna be dirt. We can change that to, let's say, uh, a diamond. That's the amount of diamonds. So we can do like, I don't know, 64. I don't know why you would need that, but we can do that. Here again, a view requirements. So for example, if you don't want someone to be able to view the item inside the menu. You can have permission requirements and you can have whatever permission you want. We're not going to do that because I don't have permission installed. Then, for example, the display name, we can have that as anything you want. You can also use color codes as shown here. Uh, let's just type in test. And here on the left click command or right click command, you can do whatever you want. So if a player does a command and they do slash help, so you would have to put help without the slash in the front, uh, but the left click will close the menu. So let's test it out. Let's save the file. Let's go back into game and type in slash DM reload and I'll reload. And as you can see, we have two menus now and we'll do slash DM list to show us the list of the menus. And then we'll do slash dm open tutorial, which is the menu we just created. And as you can see, there are now 18 slots and the second item is test. And once I right click it, it'll bring up a help menu, just like if you would type slash help. So yeah, you can do all sorts of things with this plugin. You can create kit menus, you can create world selector menus or server selector menus. Anything you want, it's really all up to you. And that's about it. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed, I hope it helped. If you have any questions, please make sure to contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.